Welcome to the program, right. Senior Pastor Paul Enenche yes. from uh, Dunamis International Gospel Center in Abuja, Nigeria. Thank you so much, Reverend Yuha. Happy to be with you today on set. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you. Now, your ministry is very interesting, what the right. Holy Spirit is right. doing and has been doing True. with you. Mm. Uh, since 1996, yes. this church that you are pastoring has grown mm. like a mushroom, even Amen. more so. Amen. So tell us a little bit about your background and what led into this uh, huge growth. Wow. I want to um, first appreciate God for the privilege of being here and being on this program. Uh, my background is one of, um, I am born into um, a family with my mother giving birth to six children of us. My mother had had an encounter with Jesus in the year of 58, where she saw the revelation of Jesus Christ and, um, and Jesus instructed her to um, hold tightly to him and that in so doing, he was going to bless her in very great ways. Mm -hmm. So Jesus, so she brought her children up um, in very serious dedication and devotion to God. You know, although along the line we, uh, you know, like children, you just try to miss road a little bit, but re yeah, yeah, yeah. came back to the Lord full force. And that was how it was until I went into the medical school. And but something happened as I got into the medical school. I got into the medical school and my passion became stronger than just being a doctor. For example, when we did um, anatomy, uh, we did anatomy with um, anatomy and, and so on. When you saw a sick person, yes. you wanted to do something far beyond just medicine. I remember many times I was so helpless concerning the st state of sick people. You know, I remember I would be sleepless when I got home. I remember when we were, we were doing ward rounds, you know, when you come back on, uh, you, when you do rounds in the, in the clinic, and every time I noticed that a particular patient died over the weekend, for example, mm -hmm. and I was wondering how I could feel like this and practice medicine. I, I was too emotional. I was too attached to the sick. Yeah, yeah. I knew that it wasn't possible for me to, to continue like that and survive medicine. So that was what happened. And I began to cry out to God for his help. And then I began to see the sick healed as a medical student. So those were the kind of things that um, shaped me uh, before uh, entering into ministry. Yeah, and so you yeah. entered into the full-time ministry together with your wife, who's also together with my wife, who's also a medical doctor, who is also a medical doctor. I'm, my my <laughs> wife is a medical doctor. My wife's father is a medical professor. Okay, so um, we came to a junction where I just felt. Look, did, did you after the school? Did you practice your briefly, 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 like two years? Yeah, okay, you know, like two years. And then in 1996, and in the, the same, same 96, year, you... November of 96, the church started on the 10th of November. And it was a, it was a. We well, were 53 people on the day we started, and the power of God was tangible, and the word of God was heavy, so it just kept growing. By the time we were one year old, we were over 600 to wow. to, to, to close to 900 people in the church one the first year anniversary and then it continued and today <laughs> today you don't I, even know how many no today i i even hate to give specific figures because at times i feel like it's a limitation it's like saying you have arrived but in summary we we, we have a church base in abuja and um we, we run five services every sunday morning it's tens of thousands tens of thousands yes. now the, the base in abuja apart from the church i pastor we have satellite harvest centers within the same city, close to 60 locations. That That's in addition to the in, mother church. In addition to the mother church that run some two, three, four, five services like that. When you come, you will see that. And um, so um, when we pull together, the last time in 2007, we pulled together at the Abuja Stadium and it was overwhelmed, you see. so. That, that's how it is. And not only that, you also you have a heart for Israel, yes. like the especially the people in Nigeria and in, in, in the southern hemisphere. They do have. Yes. Would yes. you please describe a little bit your relationship 
uh, with Israel because we are taping this program now when we have the international uh, Christian Feast of Tabernacles here in Jerusalem mm -hmm, mm -hmm. set up by ICJ mm -hmm. Christian mm -hmm. Embassy mm -hmm. so and you are one of the speakers by the way thank yeah. you for your, thank for, you. for your thank sharing you. thank so you. what is your how would you describe your relationship and your heart concerning Israel the, the, the I, ca I can speak for myself speak for our church and speak actually for the nation of Nigeria the passion in the heart of Nigerians for Israel is intense my mother came to Israel not long ago. Yes. She came to Israel not long ago. Uh, she came in July. This is September. Yes. And she came and was not willing to go back home. She wasn't willing to go back home, actually. She came and, and, and she's, she was 77 years old, heading towards 80. And she felt like, how could I come to this holy land and return back to a filthy world? She was saying she had so much encounter with God and she had been dreaming of coming to the Holy Land since her youth, maybe 50 something years ago. So that's the average person in the, in, 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 in the country. When, when it is pilgrimage, I don't know which other country, maybe America, would come to Israel like Nigerians. They come in mass because of the heart of the people. We, we stand with Israel because we know our roots as Christians and as the people of God that this is Israel is, is the root of Christianity and the root of, 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 of the covenant of God, God with his people. So the passion is strong and we, we are trusting God to do more because it has been passion but we want to translate it into practical ways in which we can reach out to the people of the land in any way possible. Yes, it's mm. wonderful. And yes. you are also part mm. of our ICEJ yes, yes. board in Nigeria. That's right. Yes, it's mm. wonderful. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Paul Enenchi, for this interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. you. Thank you. you are, it was great um, coming here and also being on set with you. Look forward to uh, further relationship with you, the ICEJ, and also the Nation of Israel. Thank you. Thank you, sir.